All right, so the first step of this is going to be cleaning this engine up. Uh, I've already done all the work. Um, I chased all the threads, so all the threads have been cleaned up for the head bolt, main bolts, uh, anything that's important. So those have been cleaned uh, and chased. Um, the first thing I do is always clean the deck. Um, I use a scraper. If it's got one of these graphite gaskets, it's going to leave a bunch of crap on the deck. So I always, I always use a scraper to clean it off. Uh, I remove the dowel pins so that way they don't interfere with the cleaning process. Once this has been cleaned with a scraper, I'll just take a uh, flat sanding board with like 80 grit sandpaper on it. Uh, this one might be a little bit less, but just the, all this is gonna do is clean the surface. Um, I'm not trying to adjust anything with the deck as far as uh, out of you know, if it's warped or something, this is strictly just for cleaning. Uh, once the once this has been cleaned, grab a straight edge and then uh, feeler gauges. So you're going to look up the spec in here. So it just tells you basically where uh, the maximum clearance is at and then how to check it. All that's been done. Uh, it's a little bit... Um, it's all within spec, it's a little, there, I can tell there's a little bit more of a gap uh, here when going across this way, so, but it should be fine. It's all within spec. Uh, so the next thing is there's numbers on here and that kind of corresponds with the bore from the factory. So it's one, 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 two. However, when I started checking the bore out, I found that it looks like it's been bored over, which would explain why the pistons look a whole lot newer than what they normally look like when you pull one of these motors apart. So um, my first spec sheet's been filled out. This one's strictly just to see um, the bore size taper on the thrust and axial side. So this basically just kind of tells me what the condition of the block is. Obviously it's been machined because it's a, it's actually pretty decent for being a 5S. Uh, so nothing's too far out, it should be fine. Uh, the thing that I need to check next is going to be piston to cylinder wall clearance. We've got the cylinder wall clearance here. I've got max and minimum, so that way I can give that use that as a reference. Uh, so my next step is going to be pistons, um, and then going to see what that that is, and um, basically go from there. So, um, so I showed you guys how to check for flatness for warpage uh, to see if it's true now to measure bore it's a little bit different um, I always start off with the recommended minimum number for the uh, block so as I mentioned before it was 1112 however that doesn't matter since it was bored out but I did use the minimum number as a reference um, how that works is you use um, use this to set the bore gauge so you set this to that number then you use this to set the bore gauge so uh, as if you could if you were to look at this it's set up to that number and then basically you just zero it out here like that and then this will tell you plus or minus how much larger or smaller it is to this number so obviously since it's been bored out it's much larger than it should have been uh, but then you just kind of add that number to that number to get your total number <laughs> if that makes sense um, that's uh, about it oh um, when measuring bore I always try to measure from the same exact spot on all the cylinders in both directions so what I do is I just use a tool like this and I mark spots with Sharpie. Each one of these are pretty darn equal. Um, what I do is I use this because it's got a flat edge and then I set this to three different spots. Uh, I use half inch, 2.5 and four inches. So I would just basically, you know, if it was, well, there we go. So I just set this to like four inches or whatever and lock it in so anyways uh that's the next update so next thing we're gonna be doing is work on these pistons they've been soaking for a little while so i'm gonna get them cleaned up and then start doing uh that part of it